A slew of new appointments tonight by President-elect Trump. He has named his pick to head the Pentagon and the CIA, and he has given his close friend Elon Musk a new job, too. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Einiger with all the new appointments. One week after voters decided to send him back to the Oval Office, President-elect Donald Trump has been building out his team with lightning speed, installing those most loyal to him to positions of immense power. And this is exactly what uh, we worried about and we warned about Donald Trump, which is that he is going to appoint unqualified loyalists to shape this government into his own personal fiefdom. New tonight, Elon Musk, the world's richest man who holds billions of dollars in federal contracts, will run something Trump is calling the Department of Government Efficiency, along with former presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy. They promised to cut a trillion dollars from the federal budget. Then there's Christy Nome. Yes, they love you. You're the one who protects them. The governor of South Dakota was a fixture on the campaign trail. She admitted in her memoir to shooting and killing her family's dog. Tonight, she's Trump's pick to lead the sprawling Department of Homeland Security, responsible not just for FEMA, the Secret Service, and the Coast Guard, but also Customs and Border Protection. She'll be in charge of implementing Trump's vision of a mass deportation of immigrants. We'll finish the job this time. And uh, I, I hope and pray the American people pay attention. Tom Homan, architect of Trump's family separation policy last time, is back as his so-called border czar. And when it comes to foreign policy, Trump has selected a Fox News host named Pete Hegseth as his secretary of defense, hawkish Florida Senator Marco Rubio as secretary of state. And as ambassador to Israel, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, known for his provocative views on the Middle East. There are certain words I refuse to use. The, there is no such thing as a West Bank. It's Judea and Samaria. There's no such thing as a settlement. There are communities, their neighborhoods, their cities. Uh, there's no such thing as an occupation. Trump is scheduled to visit the White House tomorrow for an Oval Office meeting with President Biden as Washington braces for a sudden and dramatic change, seemingly all at once. I'm Josh Einiger, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. ABC News will air a special report tomorrow morning as President Biden and President-elect Trump meet at the White House for the first time.